Okay, so let's get uh, get going here, and I'm just going to go ahead and close this uh, bash command. We'll go back here, and we'll just stop the server. I'm doing that by typing uh, Control C on my keyboard. You can see that it says Control C. This little icon represents Control. And uh, we're going to need a .git ignore file because there's files that we just do not want to include. So up here, when we have no modules, this is how uh, Node works. They just put all the libraries in line, and we do not want that in our Git repo. That's just too much stuff. Uh, and so with git, there's a file called .git ignore. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just make sure we create it here in our study sync directory. So just make sure you're in environment study sync. If you're not sure where you are, just type in environment study sync as such. And then we will just go ahead and touch a .git ignore file. And uh, that should now um, exist. I just don't see it here on the left hand side. Um, it might be hiding it, or we might have to hit refresh. Well, I definitely know that it's there. So, because if we do an LSL hyphen LA, uh, there we can see that hidden file. Uh, there's probably a way to turn it on there. I'm just not sure at the current moment. Um, but that's fine because this is all about learning how to use the terminal and CLI as a developer. So, if we want to open up that .git ignore, we're going to use our handy dandy C9 command, top, top git ignore. And if you don't want to type everything, you just hit tab on your keyboard. That saves a lot of time when you're auto-completing stuff. Works for most things. And what we're going to do is type in node modules. What's, what's that going to do? It's going to no ignore this file completely, this folder completely, because we don't need to include that with Git. Now that we have that set up, you may want to set up your Git config global u uh, username and email. Uh, we're not going to worry about it right now, but we'll probably be prompted for it, and it'll just be an annoying message every time we see it. So now that we have our git ignore, let's set up our git, uh, let's actually set up this git repo. So we'll type in git init, and it's initialized an empty repo. It's created a new folder called dot git here. So if I just do an ls, ls hyphen la, you can see I have a dot git directory now. Um, and we're not gonna really get into the details about git here, but you know, just showing you what's going on. The next thing we want to do is we want to add all the stuff that we've worked on so far to our actual repo. So if we type in git status, it'll show that we have these untracked files, meaning that they, um, they aren't going to be committed. So let's add them to be committed. So we have to do, do git add. We'll do git add period. That will just add them all. So we'll hit enter. We'll type in git status. And so now you see one from untracked to changes to be committed. And so now we just need to write our git commit message hyphen m initial commit and they are now committed and there's that thing i was talking about that git uh git config username and email generally you want to set these with your uh, name and email since i'm just doing this for uh, practice here i'm not going to do that and it'll probably keep on uh, popping up um, but we've created a git repository but it only lives on this cloud nine uh, environment and we really want to make sure that this is hosted somewhere in the cloud you could use github uh, but for the this course we are going or this uh, project we are going to be using code commit so that we get some hands-on experience with that. I think a lot of developers already have a lot of experience with uh, GitHub. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that uh, next here.